Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Suicidal Demolitionist Steam Fortress. We're gonna get a win on Steam Fortress today, maybe, hopefully. I hope. Maybe. We'll see. I'm, I'm hoping for it. I like this map quite a bit. We didn't get a win on it earlier, because I was, I was tilted. Support, and it uh, just didn't go so great. I think, right? I don't know. They all blend together, okay? I mean, the days themselves are blended together these days. You expect me to remember each individual recording? I mean, come on. You know, there's all this... Well, actually, I was, I was going to talk about some recent drama, and I decided, uh, you know what? I actually don't want to talk about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not talk about it. I don't want to involve myself, Yeah, I'll just keep myself separate. Keep myself as, uh, as a separate entity to the drama, to the... Uh, to the here's and the nows. You know, some drama I'll talk about, but this drama... Um, I feel like I'm probably on the uh, the controversial side of things, and uh, I just I don't want to be I don't want to be the person who uh, who goes out there and and does it. It's too too politicsy for me, you know. I'll pass. I don't know what else I want to talk about then, but we'll uh, we'll find out, won't we? Oh, come on. I got that right. Where are we going? This way. This way? Oh, it's that one. Yes, yes. I don't know where we're going now. I thought we were going underneath, but we're going over here. Yes, yes. I understand. I apologize for my hideous performance. Alright, give me the kaboom stick. Let's go. This thing is so good. I don't know how people are mad about uh, about not getting content. Like, have you seen the kaboom stick? It is sweet. What is it? What the, what's this thing called? It's like a pointy thingy. Um, the the pointy thingy at the tip. What's it called? My, my brain's going to Arch, and I'm 100% certain that Arch is not it. You know? Oh, you, you just juked me, man. You juked me. Let's put some distance there, hey? Let's get some distance. You did not die. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm excited to put on my pan. That's all. And all right, the, the commentary is dying right now. And it's not because I'm not having fun. Because I'm still having fun. I'm still enjoying the, the recording of this and still playing this. It's just, I can't think of what to talk about. That's kind of, you know, honestly, that's one of the reasons I want to have this is... To learn how to talk better and carry on a conversation better, um, but I mean, I have, I have troubles talking to begin with, so like, you know. But um, yeah, it's not—it's not that I'm not having fun. I'm just—I'm uh, having troubles figuring out what to talk about because I can't—I can't think of any particular interesting topics towards the end. I mean, it happens every week, right? So we get towards the end, the last few episodes, and I'm like. Did I just miss all of those shots and then just get immediately destroyed? I'm pretty sure that's what happened, right? But I, 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 I feel like I didn't miss the shots. I feel like I was clicking right on them. Let's, let's give it another try. I guess. Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm like covered in sweat. Is the thing that you, you gotta you gotta remember here. Is I'm sitting on the other side of the recording session here. I am actually like just drenched in sweat right now. It is so hot in here. I am uh, I am excited to go cool down. I'm gonna have a shower, a nice cold shower. Y'all have cold showers. I like cold showers. You know, on like a really hot day when you've been out and about, or you've been uh, out for like a long walk or, or something, and 
you come back and it's just you're covered in sweat you get into the shower you put that cold water on you get in it's a little bit too cold so you add a little bit of hot water to kind of warm it up a little bit so that it's, it's still nice and cool but not so cold that it's uncomfortable and uh, you can't remember why you made that mistake but you do it every single time and then uh, you have you have a nice cool relaxing shower you get out you feel refreshed you feel good about yourself nice and not sweaty and nice and cool it's just it's nice it's a nice experience I also I also like the hot showers don't get me wrong even on hot days but uh, right now when I'm the more sweaty I am honestly the more inclined I am to to cool the shower down which is I don't know. Does the hot water actually do anything when you're covering yourself in body wash anyway? I don't know. But uh, if I'm going to out somewhere or whatever, then uh, I'll, I'll usually have a hot shower. Cause I don't know. Does it have any kind of sanitary benefits to, to have a hotter shower? Probably, right? Um, but... I don't know. I like a cool shower. I'm just going to go have a shower and then I'm not leaving. I'm staying home. I'm going pretty much to bed afterwards, right? If there's any kind of sanitary or uh, benefits to it, then uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Where is this? It's like right on the other side here, right below us. It's fine. I do like cold showers, though. They're nice and relaxing. I'll have a hot shower too, but I mean hot showers are kind of standard, right? It's kind of where you when, you, when you say shower, people generally assume you're having a hot shower, right? I mean, I know I do when somebody says they're having a shower. I generally assume hot. Why wouldn't you, right? That's it's what you do. You have a hot shower. That's why they have a hot tap in there, right? Or a hot... Um, Knob? A hot spigot? I don't know, what's it called? What's what's the, the tap thing he called? Cause you got the You got the um the part where the water comes out. Spout, right? Whatever it's called. And you got the little bits that you that you spin around or lift up or whatever to, to change the temperature of the water. What are those called? And you got like different, you got some, some of them are like lever styles or whatever. And I mean, I don't know. There's so many, so many different types of... You ever been to somebody's place or like to a hotel or something? And you, you get into the, the bathroom, right? And you're, you're ready for your shower. You get into the bathtub or the, the shower or, or whatever it is that they're putting their shower thing in and uh, you just you can't figure out how to work it so you have to like get back out of the shower put on your clothes again be like uh, excuse me how do you shower here like some kind of just dummy I mean, it's not really because I mean some of them are confusing man I've had to, I've had to do that once I was, I was younger. These days, I, I could probably figure out any shower, but I mean, at a certain point, you just you, you've never seen a certain type of shower before, right? So I had to, I had to figure it out. Nowadays, whenever I don't, I don't have people over that I haven't had over, like much, really. Um, but I generally give them a quick rundown on uh, on how the shower functions and and how to get the most out of the shower. I think it's just it's common it's common uh, courtesy you know because you don't, you don't want to be you don't want somebody sitting in your shower and being like do I go ask them or do I just have a weird low pressure cold shower is that is that what we do here I don't know how to get hot water or like more than a drip of water out of this thing. I can't really figure it out. You don't want that. You don't want your guests doing that. So just tell them how to use their shower, okay? You don't have to tell them how to use your toilet. Although, on second thought, 
you have a if you have a funky toy, that maybe 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 you should. I mean, I think that I should, because we have to hold our buttons down. <laughs> yeah, we don't have like the 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 lever that you pull. It's uh, they're just like buttons on the top of the toilet, and you have to hold them down. So there's there's a one and then a two, right? It's got the the one droplet and then the two droplet for for number one and number two, right? Except they're wrong, because what you actually have to do is hold down either of them for a different amount of time depending on, you know, what kind of stuff you're flushing down. And then uh, it just kind of makes it go faster if you hit the, the two button. It's not, it's not actually for number one and number two. Even though it kind of seems like it. And then we have the same toilet in our other bathroom, which is actually just hit the number one or the number two depending on what you did. And it'll use different amounts of water and usually get it right. Sometimes it, it doesn't, but it's usually, like, pretty okay. Okay, I was hoping I'd be able to jump over something there, but... Did not work out that way. It did not work out that way. Spoiler alert, it did not work out that way. Come on. I just want to win on Steam Fortress, okay? We got one bullet and two dudes left. As long as it's not another Edar that I just miss horribly, it should be fine. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Let's go get our RPG. Let's go get our RPG. If we can make it there by the time the trader comes. I didn't really learn much this week either, to be honest. Normally, normally most weeks I learn some stuff that I can uh, I can convey to you guys to that I can I can you know teach you my my secondhand knowledge, you know make it thirdhand knowledge, get a bit of a game of telephone going on. But I didn't learn anything this week. Not much. I'm trying to think if I learned anything, but not really. Nothing that really stands out to me. At least, not that I would want to talk about on the, the on the channel. Because I, I like to keep it mostly PG. Mostly. I mean, it's not PG, and I don't. You know, keep it PG because I want children watching. Because I, I really would rather children don't watch this. I just, I don't think that it really brings anything to the, the table to not be PG. I think that it just only, like, excludes people who aren't into that. It doesn't, it doesn't, nobody's, nobody's going around like, oh yeah, I only watch people who swear. Because people who don't swear, yeah, they're, they're wimps. They probably use a different word, but. A more, uh, you know, uh, less gender, um, non-derogatory, um, term. But, um, anyway. There's, there's nobody, there's nobody going around doing that, so it doesn't matter anyway. Because they wouldn't do that. Because nobody does that. That's stupid. Right? Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to bounce on you. I wanted to bounce on you. Nobody's doing that, but there are people who go around like, I don't know, this person swears a lot, and I just I don't really like it. So I, I try not to swear. I swear occasionally, but I don't I don't, I don't get rid of it, because ultimately, I mean, the odd swear isn't, isn't keeping those people away, right? People, people who don't like swearing, if I swear on occasion, and it slips through, and I'm like, oops. They're probably like, <laughs> oops. Okay, whatever, who cares? Doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going for, for kid-friendly anyway, right? It's already it's already far too gory for me to have any possible chance of it uh, of it being family friendly content. So, and I think I have to find a way to make um, my RuneScape three series as well, like any series that I make, specifically not family friendly. 
which is why actually I do tend to swear in uh, in my other content probably more. Um, RuneScape content I probably will be swearing in um, because honestly, like most of the RuneScape YouTubers have quite the potty mouth, so it's it's pretty standard in the the RuneScape community to swear. So if I if I let some swears through, I'll probably just let it go. Uh, text will definitely be swearing, like the chat box will definitely have curses in it. I don't know, I swear on occasion. Not, not in the Killing Floor 2 uh, series though, but you know, hey. I do want to keep it down though, right? Because even in my even in my personal life, I just I don't think it really brings anything to the table to swear. I don't think that anybody's out there like, liking me more because I swear, right? There's probably people out there who are mildly bothered by the amount that I swear, if anything. So I do want to, I do want to keep it down. Um, but at this point, it's such a habit that I, mean, I grew up in a in a family that swears constantly. So, like my mother has always sworn, swore, sworn, swore. It's already cursed. Um, my father doesn't so much. I know my father definitely does. That's a lie. But like outside of my grandmother on my dad's side, my family pretty much all curses all the time. Um, can I get this shot? No. I was hoping it would, like, that would have been sick, though, right? If I got, like, an RPG headshot right in the cutscene, that would have been sick. Nothing could have been sicker than that. That would have been the ultimate form of epicness. Nothing would have been better. Okay, we are a little bit too close. Oh, yeah, you're going to just do that instead. That's cool. I'm pretty sure it's possible to get the headshot off in the cutscene, too. So whenever we're playing on uh, on Steam Fortress, I'm going to go demo, if I remember. And, uh, and I'm going to try that. Because I think, I think that it is possible. I think that it can be done. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be trying for it. God, he's just... Not taking any damage yet. I'm missing, I'm horribly whiffing, but still. I'd expected him to have taken a little bit more damage by now. We should start to see him get chunked as uh, as his final armor here kind of goes away. Oh yeah, like look at that chunking. That's not even the strong weapon, right? Like, look at that. If I was getting the headshots, it would have done way more, but I'm not getting the headshots because I suck. Meanwhile, I want to, like, snipe the headshot during the cutscene. <laughs> Good luck, me. Good luck, me. Excuse me? I don't like this guy because of the poops. The poops are just... Make it so much unfun. So much unfun. We're dead. We are so dead. How do we survive this? I do not know. Yeah, we're dead. If I, were, if I were better with the RPG and I landed those shots better, I think we would have made it. But I wasn't. And, uh... Yeah. Abomination with the demo is, uh, is not particularly fun. Alright, well that's going to do it for today though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.